Oh, hello friends, I have no idea if this is going to work out or not, but I figured I'd uh, give it a shot. It's Friday, and uh, as is tradition on Friday, I've stopped at the cigar shop and I've got a <coughs> Aroma de Cuba. Cuba. Yeah, that's right. Uh, these are these are really nice cigars. They're uh, Don Pepin Garcia. Been smoking them since they came out uh, probably eight years ago now. Oh, no, more than that, even. Probably like 12 years. They're one of my favorites. Um, and, you know, with it being Friday night, I'm just going to enjoy the commute home a little bit more with this Aroma de Cuba. I know people don't like the way I light cigars. It's the way I've been lighting them for 30 years. I'm not gonna change. It works for me. One thing I don't like about smoking cigars in a car is that just because of the way the air flows, you very often will get canoeing and it's really hard to avoid. I don't think it has anything to do with the cigar or with the light. It's just something about the, you know, airflow. Anyway, let's uh, safety first. Let's see how many people I can confuse as I drive around talking to myself. I try not to hit anyone. So I'm, I'm actually in a little shopping mall that's about 10 minutes from the site that I work at. And there's a little smoke shop here that has a fairly nice selection of cigars. I mean, surprisingly good selection, considering its uh, clientele are mostly uh, vape folk. So I'll come here and then head home. My, my commute's only about 15 minutes, assuming there's no traffic. But we shall see. Yeah, about 15 minutes, assuming there's no traffic. And I'm not going to keep you for the whole time. But the main reason I'm doing this is I'm thinking about um, doing some videos where I, I kind of go out on the road a bit and take you guys along. Um, I'm now at the traffic light from hell. I'll probably be here for 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I've like, like next weekend I've got a trip planned and I don't want to go too much into it because it may not happen, but I'm thinking of maybe taking you along and, uh, you know, it'd be nice if I could do some of that from the car and then some of it while I'm out and about, um, yeah, just a different take on things. I hope my hand wasn't in the way there. It it's an interesting way to to interact because you know you don't have feedback when you're talking to a camera necessarily, but at least you're aware of it. And I'm currently only aware of the surrounding traffic and trying to actually get through this traffic light. It's one of these wonderfully designed intersections where everybody decides to go out in the middle and then the light changes and they're stuck there. Occasionally you get a kind soul that uh, obeys the rules and waits, but it's not often. We've made some progress, although we're still not technically through the light. Uh, man, I'm lucky. There's really very little traffic around here and I get to zip back and forth from home to work very quickly most of the time, but my timing was bad today. I try to leave earlier on Fridays and this is 
Uh, it's just a little bit after five, but kind of the peak of rush hour for this area. So yeah, what I was thinking is, uh, so I'm going to go next Saturday, I'm nearly certain that I'm going to go to uh, the Ly Nielsen uh, woodworking show in Philadelphia. It's along the waterfront. Um, if you're familiar with Philadelphia, it's the, what is it, the Independence Waterfront, I think they call it. It's where the um, the SS Olympia and the, uh, the, the submarine Bakuna are. And in that complex, they're having a Ly Nelson, uh, who's a very good manufacturer of hand tools, is having a show. And I'd like to go to it. I think I'm going to go to it. We shall see. And I was thinking it might be fun to you know, take you guys along. They're going to have demos and things like that, so maybe I can record a few of the demos, uh, show you some of the tools that I'm looking at, and of course show you anything that I buy, and do some, do some pipe smoking before and after, maybe throw in a cigar after. So anyway, let me know, let me know what you think of that idea. Um, let me know what you think of this idea. Was this a waste of time? I just wanted to play with the, the phone and the phone holder and see how it works out and see what... I mean, I may not even post this depending on the, the video quality and the audio quality. I have no idea. Uh, but we shall see. You can see that one spot there where it's starting to burn a little bit faster and that always happens in the car. It doesn't happen to me when I'm, you know, at home, or even when I'm sitting outside, but there's something about the airflow in the car. What's that expression? It's a poor craftsman that blames his tools. Sorry, car. Oh, by the way, you, you're probably surprised to see me with eyewear. Um, I, I sort of wanted that to be like my uh, my Clark Kent thing where I could go on YouTube without glasses and then I put the glasses on and nobody would recognize me. Turns out it doesn't work. I don't know how Clark Kent got away with it, but it just doesn't work for me. Yeah, I, I don't wear them when I'm making videos. Well, the truth is I don't wear them a lot in the shop. I'm usually wearing safety glasses and uh, to see things up close it's often easier for me to do that with the glasses off because I'm an old guy and you know you know how it gets and you know I just happen to 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 not wear them much in the videos and then when I did try to wear them there was a lot of glare on the lenses and stuff so it just seemed better to just take them off before I start recording so it's not really a vanity thing or anything but safety first I do need them to see so if I'm going to be driving anywhere I'm going to be wearing them so I have to come up with a better disguise for you know when I go out in public and I'm trying to hide from you guys I'll go with one of those Groucho mustaches and see if that works Anyway, folks, I, I don't want to <laughs> keep you for this whole commute. It's going to be uh, just more of me rambling. And boy, there's, in fact, I think, uh, I think that's the danger of this kind of a video is that I, I can just get going and you, you're going to get bored of me really quickly. <laughs> you know, at least when I'm sitting down in the shop, I've got an agenda and that keeps me somewhat focused, although I do tend to fly off sometimes. Anyway, folks, happy Friday. Y'all take care. Uh, check out, if you haven't seen it yet, in my in my uh, YouTube stream, there's a premiere that's going to be this coming Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, you can click a reminder so that you can get reminded of the premiere. 
uh, that sounded redundant. It's going to be on um, tobacco blending and pressing, and I think you're going to enjoy it. It's, I warn you, it's a long video. I'll talk more about it on Sunday. And, ooh, I got a, I got a brand new pipe to reveal on Sunday, and it's a beauty. I, I can't wait. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to... I was going to smoke it for the first time during the video, but I don't think I can wait. I think I'm going to have to smoke it tonight. So, anyway, folks, you all take care. And I will see you all on Sunday. Goodbye now.